It's the first day out in the new world for these little chicks at Deer Run Farm. And they're in for quite a journey. Within 72 hours, they'll travel hundreds of miles to their new homes in chicken coops across the country. We ship all over the U.S. We have shipped as far as Alaska and Hawaii, and we also have people that come to the farm to pick up as well. But these chicks aren't quite ready to leave the Frederick County farm just yet. First, farmers and chicken breeders Allison Rostad and Josh Stewart need to prepare them for life outside the egg. Allison vaccinates the birds to ensure they'll be disease-free. So we're actually the only hatchery in the United States that is disease-free for everything. We maintain that by vaccinating ourselves, but then also we have our birds tested every three months to make sure that they are disease-free. The vaccination I'm giving today is for Merrick's disease, and it's laced with Newcastle disease as well. Next, Josh dips the chicks' beaks in water to teach them how to drink. Obviously, up until they've hatched, they've not had water. Now, if I were to just put them in the brooder, they would slowly figure it out on their own. But the sooner you can get them water, the quicker they are to learn. So then they'll start pecking the food and figure that out as well. Of course, before there were chicks, there were roosters and hens. So we have four breeds, they're all heritage. So these are the breeds that were really popular back in the 50s and 60s. These were more like on the homesteads where they were, were a dual purpose breed. So you would grow them for your laying hens and then you'd also butcher the, the males for your meat. While it's hard to find concrete statistics, raising backyard chickens does seem like a growing trend. And the COVID-19 pandemic increased it further. I think it's something that a lot of families are able to do together. They can come home from their, their nine to five job and there's chickens that they can go out and feed and they can collect their eggs. And you have parents incorporating their children into the process. It's rewarding to show their children responsibility, taking care of a live animal. And there's a special draw when it comes to Deer Run's chickens. Each breed lays a different color egg. So our customers are those that want colorful eggs, that want rainbow eggs, not just your typical white eggs or brown eggs. So a lot of our customers are backyard flock owners. We also have some smaller commercial flocks that have purchased from us, but there's those that want just a high quality, disease-free bird that adds lots of color to their basket. The Americana breed lays a light blue egg. The Delawares lay light tan eggs. The copper morans lay a dark brown egg, and so do the well summers, which can also lay terracotta eggs that sometimes have speckles. And last is the olive egger, a mixed breed that lays greenish brown eggs. After these eggs are set, it takes 21 days in the incubator and hatcher before they're ready to hatch. While these chickens rule the roost, they're still relative newcomers here. Josh's parents purchased Deer Run Farm in 1996, and the family started raising Red Angus cattle and growing crops for feed. Then, in 2017, Josh had the opportunity to buy a chicken breeding business from a nearby farm. Allison was a graphic designer at the time, and I jokingly said, you know, would you like to do something like this? Would you want to buy this hatchery? And we decided that that was the, the right move for keeping the farm sustainable. And so we went down and looked at it, and I was like, I could do this, I could do it. And the next day I put in my two weeks at work and I became a full-time farmer. I didn't really know anything about chickens, but now I know everything about chickens. And Allison and Josh get to share this poultry knowledge with their customers through each package of chicks, which they will safely send through the U.S. mail. So today these ones are going to Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, Delaware, Vermont. As Allison packs up the birds, she makes sure their trip is as comfortable as possible. Depending on the weather, we'll put a heat pack on the bottom that lasts for 72 hours. Then the Excelsior pad, which is basically shaved wood 
for bedding, that way they don't slip as they're being moved in transit. And then the green stuff is a grow gel. It's just a electrolyte in gel form that will keep the birds hydrated until they get to their final destination. And then the chicks. Then it's off to the post office. Within three days, their new owners will be thrilled to get these fluffy chicks. And soon after, the colorful eggs they lay too.